Good evening. Hey there. How are you all? This is Chris Cahill coming to you live from Skid Row Studios. And the name of the show is Psychic Every Day. It is March 19th, the very last day of winter 2014, which I'm sure you are happy about. Those of you who um, who went through the winter of 2014 and are still in it. And I just want to say tonight's show is going to be all about spring renewal. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited about doing this show. Now, a couple points of information here. You are at skidrowstudios.com. We have a live video button. So if you would like to watch this show as well as listen to it, you can do that. And there is also an iTunes app. Um, for Skid Row, you'll see you'll see it listed on the front page of our website, and you can download that to your smartphone if you, that makes it easier for you as well. Um, and I think we're also available on Stitcher.com. You can find us there. So hopefully you're you're all like you know showing up and hanging out and getting ready to enjoy the show. Because I'm doing a live show, I will be giving some readings to callers throughout the evening. And my number is 1-800-893-9562. And uh, so there, I'll be talking about spring renewal and, you know, the energy of that and having to do with healing and growth and all these, all kinds of good stuff. I have a, I have a lot of exciting things to talk about with it. And I'll be saying hi to my, my friends in the booth as well. I've got um, Jenny and Andy here tonight. Hey there, Jenny. Happy night before spring. Hi. <laughs> Night before spring already. Yeah, and you have a new hairdo. Jenny has a really, I wish you could see her. She has a really beautiful new haircut. I love it. Thank you. It's I adorable. thought of uh, something new. Yeah, it's great. So, and cut off all the dead ends of my hair. I used to be blonde, so damaged you know, my hair a lot. <laughs> but I got to tell you that your hair coming in tonight, your hair represents my show. Oh. Because you did a renewal and tomorrow's spring and you got rid of the old, which Indeed. went more than maybe just winter, but it's that kind of a thing. Yeah, So totally. it was inspiring for me. Oh, thank you. Really cool. <laughs> so good. Well, nice to see you here tonight, both you of you. You too. I love working your show. I'm sorry about the beginning part. We were trying to figure out phone line situations. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. that we can get your callers on. <laughs> right on. Yeah, callers. I already have one and I'll get to them in a couple minutes. But yeah, thank cool. you. Good. <laughs> Well, let me just go a little bit into, I I'm, I really want to do a little tiny ritual of letting go of winter. Now, winter is still here, but, and I don't know about any of you out there and how you experienced winter this year. And I don't want to put a negative on winter. I don't see it as a negative. It was, in my view, in my experience, a little bit of a challenging winter. And I'm, I'm noticing that from a lot of people, at least a lot of people I work with and clients and students People really going through some big challenges this winter, as we have been for a, a few years here in terms of transitioning and our spiritual evolution and all the rest of it. But this was a big winter. This was a really wonderful, our winter was perfect for diving deep in and kind of being in the energy and kind of sitting in some stuff for a while. And many people are still doing that or they're just coming out of it or they're just starting to release it or any of that. So I'm not going to go into that. I don't see it as negative. It was necessary. You know, anything you hit this past winter that you are done with, anything that you went into, you know, if you hit, you know, the biggest, deepest, darkest stuff that that scares you or that freaks you out or that frustrates you or that you can't control. Oh, wait a minute. There's that word again, that phrase, you can't control. And that's a big thing that, that is being let go of by a lot of people. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. That's a really hard, uh, speaking on myself, I'm a control freak and I need to have control over a lot of stuff. And it's hard to let it go. You're the only one in the studio who has that. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but that's what that's what I'm I'm seeing and you know having been born and raised a control freak and being pretty good at it. It's it's a thing. You know, we are letting go of having um thinking we have control over the things we actually don't have control over. And that was the one of the hugest things that came up through this whole winter in, in many many ways. You can just see it. It's actually you've got to find amusement with what you cannot control. And here are some things you can't control. And I don't want to, this is not really a show about letting go of control as much, but that's a part of it. That's a part of what we're releasing with um, winter. You really can't control other people. You know, you can try, you can think you have control over what other people will do or how they will respond. And you really can't. You have control over you. 
And if you haven't been feeling in control, perhaps you're you're handling some energies within you that you are trying to get a handle of. You're trying to figure out how to let go of or release or find. And I'll be getting into that in the show. Like, how does it look when you start to release that energy? You know, that's the spring renewal part of the show. So as I mentioned, I will be giving readings to callers about what does your spring renewal look like? So that's going to be a specific reading tonight. I'm going to read you that. And I'd love to give my first reading because there is somebody here who's been patiently waiting for a few moments. Hello, you're live. Hello, Chris. Hi, yes, who is this? This is Gwen. Happy spring renewal. Oh, happy spring renewal, Gwen. How are you doing on the last day of winter? I'm going to say pretty gosh darn good. Thank well, you. Right on. <laughs> I like the way you say that, Gwen. It's good. <laughs> so would you like a spring renewal reading? I would love to have one. Very good. Let me just take a, a look at the energy of what I see. I'm also going to look for a spring renewal color, not the color you have to do anything about at all, but just a vibration I see. Um, everybody who's calling tonight, this is going to be for each of you, um, not just one color for everybody, but that's what I want to look at. And Gwen, the the color I saw right away, which reminded me of that I wanted to say that, is this really soft, leafy green. Um, it's gentle. It's sort of yellow green, but soft. It's like sort of muted a little bit. It's this really um, gentle vibration, but it looks like it's, um, when I look at it as a spring renewal color, it's not something you necessarily even, um, you know, work with or, or wear or have in your home, but it does look like it's a, it's a peaceful color for you, a calming color. And I'm just going to read from that. Um, and it's also present time. So when I look at spring renewal in your life right now and that growth, the, the, one of the pictures I see is this picture of you reaching into, and this is you, the healer. It looks like this is part of your growth period as a healer right now. I see you reaching your own hands deep into your um, abdomen, but like actually at the level of the third chakra. So just in the solar plexus, I see you kind of reaching deep into that part of you. And then also you're, you're about to move up to the fourth chakra a little bit more, but you're reaching into the third and, and there's something you're working on. You're healing um, a level of energy that's had you, that you're, that's had your third chakra, which as you know, cause you did that, I know you did that workshop. The third chakra has to do with what you use your energy for. You know, it's like how you're directing your energy, what you get to direct it toward. And I just see you rearranging that. You've been working on changing um, some of the demands on you at a third chakra level. And it looks like for spring 2014, part of your um, your mock-up, your goal, your, your vision for this spring is that you get to direct your energy more. Um, I see it. It's like you're wanting to make it smoother somehow your own energy, smoother or gentler or uh, less, um, you know, it's not that it's frenetic, but sort of a uh, calmer on some level. And that's part of it. It's not that you're trying to make it what it's not. It looks like you're trying to remove controls that make it, that control you having that. So it just looks like this is part of your spring renewal is changing how you direct and focus your own energy. I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm saying this is what it looks like you're already doing. You're focused on. And it's a growth period at how you direct your energy. Looks like it has everything to do with your studies right now. So that's what I'm seeing. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for calling and happy spring to you. Happy spring to you. Oh, thanks. Bye. Hello, everyone. If you are just joining me, I thank you for that. If you've been here since the beginning of tonight's show, thanks again for showing up tonight. I'm really happy to be here at Skid Row Studios. I'm Chris Cahill. You're listening to Psychic Every Day. And Skid Row Studios is real radio on the Internet. You'll find my show here every Wednesday at 7 o'clock Pacific time for an hour. We'll be going into all things psychic and, you know, talking about energy and healing and all the rest of it. And tonight's show, uh, for those of you who have been with me, you're listening in on a show about spring renewal. And I'm kind of really getting into a little bit about what we're releasing. And I have a short list of things um, that I talk about, you know, in, I, at various times in various shows, some of these same topics. But I'm looking at it as what is it that we could be leaving behind or you might particularly be leaving behind from winter 2014. 
So it's the last day of winter 2014, and I'm just using it as a day because you could let go of this stuff on any day. It's just that I like, I love, I love seasons and marking time with moons and the seasons and just, you know, the, the shifting. We're shifting into a new season. There's, there is a whole symbolism and vibration and energy that comes with it. Now, here's a couple suggestions or just ideas, or this might be some of what you're already releasing. How about letting go of old self-limiting beliefs and pictures? So self-limiting, meaning you might have a picture, you can't do something, or it's too hard, or it's, you know, you're not capable, or you, you get it. You know what that means. So it's really up to you to let that go. It isn't up to anybody else to convince you to let it go. And if you've been waiting for something to come in from out there saying, oh, it's time to let that go now, maybe actually you've been waiting for something that you can do for yourself. So self-limiting beliefs and pictures. And along the lines of that, things like, well, control, as we were talking about earlier, you know, trying to control things or maybe lack of faith in yourself. You know, this is a big one right now. A lot of people are hitting the trust and faith pictures, and it's wonderful that we are. It's, it's a beautiful way to live is to be conscious about that and, and find your own answers with it too. I'll get into more in just a moment. I'm going to give another reading right now to another caller. Hello, you're live. Hi. Hello. Hi, who is this? Oh, hi, this is Sandy. Hi, Chris. Hi, Sandy. Happy, happy hi. last day of winter to you. How are you doing? I'm I'm good. I'm 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 really glad it's the last day of winter. <laughs> are you? Are you, are you Sandy in Chicago? Yes, I'm Sandy in Chicago. Exactly. And so how's your winter? The Chicago see the Chicago people are the ones I, I really I just have a lot of compassion for right now since I have a lot of friends there and family and some of them are really enjoying this winter and some of them are like, Oh, we're so done. Are you done? Yeah, it's I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. It's been yeah. okay, but it's been, uh, yeah, it's, you know, been one thing after another, but, but it has been that way for everybody. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, and Sandy, thank you for your very generous contribution this week. I appreciate it so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Well, I so appreciate everything that you and your show bring to oh. me and everybody. So. Well, thank you. It was very nice. I appreciate it. And, and yeah. I wonder, would you like a reading on your spring renewal? I would. I would love a reading on my spring renewal. Perfect. The The color I see right away with spring renewal for you is this bright, just beautiful, um, like orangey yellow. It's just this really oh. pretty vibration. It's like a summer color, but it's starting. It's also the, it's like um, the color of one of my favorite kinds of flowers, like this particular kind of pansy that has that bright yellow. Um that I I just saw at some somewhere recently out here and I was like, I want those. <laughs> it's just this beautiful color. But the vibration is sunshine and um joy that goes with it. And that's what I see with your spring renewal. The spring renewal picture I see for you, one of the places I see you working, because there's a lot of them. You're working on a lot of growth right now. But one of the huh? things I see you working on is this picture of you um taking less time to move out heavier energies. So you're just at a place in your life where it's easier when you hit an, a heavier energy to look at it and to separate yourself from it and look at it and say, oh, that's not me. It's kind of like finding dust bunnies on the floor of your house and saying, oh, because you know the dust bunnies aren't you. And then you can just vacuum them up or, or, you know, wipe them up or do something. And it's that funny. It's like you as a being finding amusement with this energy in your space that there was a time when you didn't know it wasn't you and now you do know, and you're like, no, that's just another dust bunny, and you and you get rid of it, oh. and then the floor is nice and sparkly again, and so are you. So it looks like you're really, part of your spring renewal has been separating yourself more, and I'm not saying you have to do this, I'm saying it's already in process, you're already doing uh -huh. it. You're already becoming conscious of, that's not me, more and more and more, and you have been for a while now, but there's a, um, I see you stepping up with this, and it looks like it's just getting easier to do even on the days you know that are where there is no water and then the heat goes off and all the stuff I know you went through this winter <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so this is this is about your amusement it looks like that golden beautiful orangey yellow is a lot to do with your amusement with the energy that isn't you 
rather oh, than great. having to solve it. So good for you. This is there's so much more, but you know, just in the time I have on the show, that's the first picture sure. that I see. Sure. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Oh, thank Sandy, you. thank you. Have a wonderful spring. Yeah. Happy spring to you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Okay, now I have a few other things I wanted to say about what it is you might be letting go of. Um, let's see. Okay, so we talked about old self-limiting beliefs and pictures. Okay, and then here's another one. And this one is a big one for a lot of people right now. It, it is, you know, when you're going through a lot of growth anyway, or you're changing, or you're, you're taking big steps, you're expanding yourself, you're doing this all the time. This is part of it. In order to move forward, it is necessary to release and let go. And it's not that what was there before was wrong or that the winter was wrong. No, we need those deep, dark times. We need those times of um, kind of a going within. Winter is a wonderful time. It's a going within. There's, a, there's more of an internal and then spring, it starts to come out again. There's more of a releasing, but sometimes you have to go really deep within in order to hit the things you're trying to find so that you can f figure out what you want to release. So so this one that I, I'm giving you this all this, you know, words before I say it is an old way of being includes old agreements. And maybe with the winter ending, you're finding that some of the agreements you've had with, with people, with yourself, with situations, um, with your body, with energy, with anything that you might be rewriting those things. And I, I talk about that a lot too on this show because that's, everything is an agreement. We all have agreements. Agreements are not necessarily good or bad. The, the key is, are your agreements in present time with you? Did you find during this past winter that maybe there were some things that kept tugging at you that you wanted to shift around? You're going into spring renewal now. So part of that could be that you don't need to carry forward with you anything that weighs you down or that just isn't working anymore. And you can rewrite it. It doesn't mean it has to be a fight. Maybe you can just, you know, rewrite it a little. Okay, I have another caller. Hello, you're, you're live. Hi, Chris, it's Karen. Why, Karen, it's so nice to hear your voice. How are you this week? You too. I'm great. Good. Happy happy spring to you. Oh, yeah. I am thrilled about the spring. Seattle hasn't been that bad, but still, the weather's a little different. The flowers are coming out. Yeah. The feeling is different. Everything you've been talking about. It feels good. Yeah. It just feels a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. You know, it lightened up this week. Yeah. Last week was very heavy. Oh, my goodness. It was, it was one of those weeks. This week is much lighter. You know? Well, now tell me, um, what would you like a spring renewal reading? I would love one. Well, let me just take a look and see what, what, uh, what I see for you. I love a spring cleaning. The, it's not a spring cleaning so much as it's a spring renewal reading, just like where I see you working, because it is about your spring cleaning, um, mm -hmm. your internal spring cleaning. and that. But the picture I see when I first look at you is one of the places I see you renewing yourself is um, you've got a sketch, you've got a piece of sketch paper and colorful glittery pens and you're drawing these little spirals. It's kind of like doodling, you know, like if you were just doodling and just making little circles and going around and around. It's not unconscious. It's actually, it's just really, it looks like it's sort of pleasing and automatic. Like I can do this and see what kinds of little, um, what kinds of shapes I come up with or what kinds of drawings or designs or all of that. And I see this picture of you doing this and changing the colors. And actually, the circles you're drawing remind me of chakras. They look like energy centers. And I see you're drawing energy. There's, you're drawing energy and movement. But it's also about you actually sitting with pen to paper drawing. You're not writing anything. You're not trying to make sense of it. You're not trying to define it. It looks like you're just going with it. And there's a, when I look at those spring renewal pictures, it looks like it's a lot about getting your creative energy in motion, which you've already been in the process of doing. But there's this next level you're wanting to take it to um, this spring. It looks like you're wanting to take the, because then I see you with the drawing and then you're, what you're doing is you're turning it into something three-dimensional. So it might just be that the drawing represents, you know, for you, um, a particular mock-up or energy or or something. It, it's as if you're writing your mock-ups in these drawings, these scribbles. It's wonderful. You know, your wishes, your, um, 
your new pictures of what you would like to have. And I just see this level of you working from um, being able to put it down. And this is actually something that in the past you might have just called it doodling, but it's not just doodling. This is a subconscious level. This is you, you the spirit, um, in a deep subconscious level, but you, the spirit, also consciously kind of working together to create these new images or these new patterns somehow in your energy. It's, it's working with energy, but you're doing it this, in this really creative, fun way. And, and it is glitter. I did say glitter pen, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's part of it. It has to be sparkly. So there's something about your spring renewal that, that goes, it's all about the creativity. It's wonderful. Love it. Yes. Me too. That's cool. really very, very, very cool, Karen. And I was playing with glitter pens just last week. Well, I think it's time to play with them again. I think so. <laughs> pull them, pull, bring them out. Yeah. Play. Well, thank you. Thank you for calling. And have a yeah, really you, wonderful spring. I'm sure I'll get to talk to you again soon. So just have yes. fun. Talk to you soon. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. I was on my way to the studio tonight, and I was looking at, I always do this, I mean, I'm in the whole show, the day of the show, and I've been working on the pictures for my show, but but it's really that day that it starts to kind of happen in my space, you know, it kind of, it starts to come together, things gel, and I'm good with that, because I know that when it does, I, I feel it, there's a certain level of just going, this is it, I'm working with the, I find my, I found my picture, this is what I'm doing. And then I remembered, and it was too late to bring the song in to play it for you, but some of you may know um, who Ken Nordine is. And he's a very old man now. He's actually from Chicago originally, and he's been around for a long time. If you don't know who he is, Google him. You will have a treat. He um, he's, he has a, an amazing voice. He did lots and lots of wonderful like radio programs and um, different kinds of recording going way back, you know, and he worked with jazz musicians and then do, would do these voice pieces. One of my favorite um, CDs of his is called Colors. But he wrote something years ago called Angel's Lament. And it's beautiful. And the, the words of it go like this. Who cares about winter, the first day of spring? Life is a funny, ephemeral thing. How early we're old and how late we get smart. Wise are the foolish with love in their heart. That's Ken Nordine, and I, if, if you could find that and, and play it for yourself today, you'll be a pretty happy person. Do you have it? I looked on the web for it, so yeah, I can if you try and play it if you want. Just let me know when you want me to. Okay. I'll, I'll, well, let uh, me do I'll one more reading, and then I would say if you have it, if you will have it after then, I'd love it. Okay. Thank you. All right. I have another caller now, so I'll be giving another reading. Hi, you're live. Hello, Hello there. Hi, who is this? Uh, this is David. David, I recognize your voice. How are you? Good. Um, I was thinking about you earlier today. I cracked open a hive to see if any bees were alive, and there were some living bees. It was pretty exciting. Oh, that is so good because so I know you guys had a bear of a winter. Getting, they're getting renewed for spring. Well, tell them I said hi, and I'm really excited for them. All right. <laughs> they're in good um, hands with you. I'm yep. sorry? They're in good hands with you, uh, your bees. I hope so. Right on. Well, well, David, would you like to have a spring renewal reading? Yeah, I would. All right. Um, the, the vibration I see when I look at just the looking at a spring renewal reading for you is really, truly a bright green. It's just a lot of growth, a, um, kind of a spring green. Um, it's, it's vibrant. It just has like an, when you look at it, you can just see the color move. It's just got so much energy in it. And the pictures I see, um, there's a picture that I see you letting go of from this past winter. And it not, doesn't just have to do with the winter itself as the season, but a spiritual winter. There's been a, you've been releasing a spiritual winter for a while. And I see it as, um, and some of this looks like a little bit past time where you were hibernating, not just because it was cold out or it was winter, but hibernating as an energy. And you're, you've been slowly molting or shedding. I mean, it's funny because the picture is you wearing a bear. <laughs> you're like <laughs> the bear. <laughs> and I see you're like, oh, yeah, I don't need this suit anymore. It's too, it's too heavy. It's too hot. It's too, you know, it's this bear suit. And it's not that you killed a bear to wear his skin. It's just the picture. But I see you pulling, like, getting ready to really let that go. 
um, to let go of an old skin or an old, um, it's energy, just like heavy energy that's now, that used to at one point feel protective or comforting, and now it's just irritating to you, and you don't want it anymore. And it looks like it has to do with um, wanting to lighten up. And it's something you've been doing for a while. It's not like you suddenly did it. It's been part of your spiritual growth, but there, it really does have to do with your spirit. There's a lightening up in a way. Right. And it looks like that's cool. what you're working on this spring. It's your spring renewal. Yeah, that certainly feels, that feels like a very accurate reading. <laughs> right, right on. I'm so glad. It's nice, to, it's nice to see it. It's just really, it looks very happy. Yeah. You know, like, um, like um, new possibilities or new, new growth. You know, new attitude, things like that. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Great. Thank you, David. Good talking thanks. to you, and thanks so much thanks for calling. Happy spring. <laughs> you too. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. thanks. Bye. So I found, like, a one-minute little snippet if you want to play that. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Ken Nordine, Angel's Lament. I think we're coming up with it. Is it work? Is it working? I can't hear you. Is it? Okay. All right. Sorry for the delay, everybody. Um, By the way, I'm going to give you a little bit of a station identification. I am Chris Cahill, and you are listening to Psychic Every Day at SkidrowStudios.com. And we are Real Radio on the Internet. I am doing a live show tonight about spring renewal um, and I'll be giving some re- some uh, readings to callers. So if you've been listening all along, I thank you. Stick around. We're, we're, we've got another half hour to go. My number is 1-800-893-9562. And uh, call me for a spring renewal reading. Now, um, I want to finish up with just a couple more thoughts here about the winter that's leaving. And I, as I said with that last caller, it is kind of like a spiritual winter that I'm looking at. So even if you listen to this show in the archives, you know, in a year or, or six months and it's not spring, it's another season. It's really about that spiritual winter, releasing something where you re- went into the dark or into the um, kind of into a dormant place or a place where there was maybe not a lot of movement seeming to be happening. Just as in the in the winter, you don't really see the growth that the earth is going through, but it's there. It never really goes away. There's just a, it's just a different time. And so the spiritual winter time is releasing, but it's also according to the season too. We have winter ending. So here's an idea. You may have um, released or let go of a picture or three over the winter. You know, you might've blown a picture, meaning you might've pulled your energy out of an old picture you used to see was true or feel was true, or that controlled you in some way and you didn't know that that's what it was and you might have a bit of renewal to be welcoming and it might be at your door right now so here we go here's uh ken nardine yeah there's a picture in my mind that i'd like to have you see in an old and golden frame See how young they used to be Ain't it funny how they stood Smiling straight into the lens Seems a thousand years ago Like a million way back then Who cares about winter the first day of spring Life is a funny, ephemeral thing How early we're old and how late we get smart Why is the foolish with love in their heart? Worked their fingers to the bone Saved their money like you should Yeah, yeah, it's okay to turn it off. That's great. (laughs) Jenny, thank you so much. I forgot about the beginning of that song. Like how the the memory, wow! I'm all verklempt. <laughs> it's true. What a beautiful, beautiful song. Anyway, so that's the picture, the releasing. So we have the spring renewal, and that is what we're going to be getting into next, people. Okay, so here's my picture for spring. 
My new picture for spring, what if it gets to be a lot of fun? What if, and maybe you've been having fun all winter, but whether you have been or not, why not decide that your spring renewal, no matter what it is, it's not about having to do that deep, dark, hard spiritual work. Believe me, you'll be doing it anyway, because that's sort of the name of the game right now. But what if it's not hard? What if it's fun? What if it's joyful? What if you get to really have more of what you want in a, in a way that works for you? And that is the key here in, in a way that works for you. One of the things I keep seeing that people are releasing is energy that just doesn't work for them anymore. They just can't, they just can't sustain it anymore. We, we cannot sustain as human beings things that simply don't work anymore. If you've been plugging your energy into something and trying to control it and make an outcome happen and it's not happening and it's not happening and it's not happening and you keep trying. Now, you may have a a really wonderful intuition that this is the right thing to do. I have to keep trying to get to this thing and that that works then, but it, it won't move any faster than it's going to move sometimes. And so my suggestion is hey, why not decide to kind of surrender to it? And this is, I'm seeing this with a lot of people, people I even talk to today as as a matter of fact. I mean, I talk to myself about this all the time. Sometimes there's just a, um, we just have this picture that I have to make this thing work. I have to plug more energy into it and work harder at it. And there's a difference between showing up to do the work and trying to make something happen that maybe it's just not the time yet. So for spring renewal, what if you get to have a lot of fun this spring? Really? And what does that look like to you? What does a renewal of fun look like? Now, again, you are listening to Chris Cahill and Psychic Every Day. And I do have a phone number. The number is 1-800-893-9562. I am taking callers and I'll be giving a few more readings on your spring renewal tonight because that's, you know, what the show is all about. And a couple of things, I do want to thank a few people. I I did get to speak with her earlier and I'm glad she called, but Sandy Siminski gave me wonderful show support this week. I've been um, asking my viewers and my fans to support the show if you are able to. And a couple of ways I I, um, suggest for you to support the show. One, go and check me out on iTunes and leave me a review. I'd love it if you would do that. If you like the show, you know, that's real easy to do. And you can also um, tell your friends, hey, if you like the show and you benefit from it, please let other people know. Share it or just you know send it to people you think might really be interested. I also accept tips and I have a tip jar on my website at chriscahill.com. So you know if you want to give me that kind of support too, I am, I'm all over that one. I'll say thank you. Um, the other thing about uh, what's happening around here. So Sandy, thank you. A um, couple of things I want to mention. I am going to be a guest this Friday, the 21st of March on the Masters Playground, which is another show here at Skid Row Studios. And it happens from six until seven Pacific time. The Masters Playground, Chrissy Stereo is the host of that show. And it's a wonderful show. It's all about um, playing with the tools of the divine. So it's a really neat spiritual show. And it's there's a lot of great music. She's Chrissy is a not just a brilliant spiritual person and Um, you know, working her own thing. And she's also a wonderful DJ and has a lot of musical knowledge. And she and I share a lot of similar tastes. So it'll be lots of fun to, you know, have to check in with that show. Um, And then the other thing is I'm putting this in your ear as a bug in your ear. I have a live workshop coming up in April, Sunday, April 13th. I haven't really been advertising this yet, but I will give you more details as time goes on. If you've been wanting to come to a live workshop, because I don't do them very often at all, that would be the date. So put it in your calendar. Back to the show. Back to spring renewal. Now, a couple of ideas for you being able to create spring renewal for yourself. And these are these are just simple ideas. Speaking for myself... One thing I noticed from the winter and the kind of heaviness and darkness that was this winter some of the time or just how much energy there was to get through is I just got really tired sometimes, just really needing a lot more rest. And that would be the thing. I mean, spring tends to wake us up and make us feel more vibrant and more, you know, kind of bouncy and 
um, excited. But you may want to make sure, too, that as we get into our spring renewal, that you give yourself rest, you know, a little bit, especially if you never do. Because when you rest, it's easier for you to have those brilliant new ideas come to you or those epiphanies or that, you know, you have more permission then to let go of things that you've been holding on to. When we get into that mode of constantly moving, 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 doing, 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 then it becomes all about kind of maintaining, you know, the same things. When you give yourself time to renew by relaxing, you get to, you know, kind of go, kind of give yourself some new choices or some new ways of being. So that's one thing I would suggest. That's like, actually, if you're doing a spring detox, that's a good thing too. Spring detox can be rest. It could be you detox yourself from negativity. When I, when I look at spring detox, I look at it as what negative energy do I want to get rid of or, or get my space with? So, you know, negative people or maybe negative news sources or um, letting go of, you know, certain kinds of TV or just constant noise coming in. Maybe you want to give yourself, this is another suggestion for, for a spring detox, um, step away from just having to always be listening to something. Now, I know this goes against my interest since I'm talking to you and you're listening to me right now, but it's just really nice to have silence. And even in silence, you won't just hear silence. You'll hear the, there's always something to hear, especially if you live in the city. You could turn everything off in your house and you'll hear, you know, birds or your neighbors or the, re, the refrigerator or something. And that's okay, but there's always another level of sound. And sound has a, a particular kind of quality of healing in it too. You can use sound as a healing. And sometimes we just inundate ourselves with so much of it that it becomes an unconsciousness or a cacophony of energy. So you might want to consider that, you know, as part of your spring renewal, maybe giving yourself some peace, some silence. You can also do that by meditating. And that's always something that I make suggestions about. Letting yourself have meditation as a, as a spring renewal technique or, or healing for yourself. Okay, here's another one. Now, what is one of the things that you have in your mind that you'd really like to um, access for yourself? You know, one of your abilities or maybe you've just had this thing for a while where you, where you walk around saying things like, God, I really wish I listened to my intuition more. I should listen to my intuition more. I have, a, I have a lot of people tell me this, that, they, that they're intuitive, but they don't listen to it enough. Well, what if you made this particular spring, 2014, your spring of new intuition, that you decided to let yourself have your intuition? And I'm particularly picking on intuition because it is just so natural and normal and a part of every day, everyday life. And if you decided you were going to start practicing listening to your intuition this spring... You, you'd really be amazed at how much that builds up because when you start to listen to your intuition, it actually builds upon itself. It's when you don't listen that your intuition doesn't seem to be working. That's the thing. And actually, it is working. You just aren't listening. So that's another one. Here's one of my favorites. Um, get rid of mean people. So spring renewal, spring detox, you know, creating a new environment for yourself. How about if you just don't have to be around people you don't want to be around? You know, I mean, really. Now, I understand if you work with them and you kind of have to right now and it's difficult, find a, find a way to protect yourself from that. But you can still give yourself wonderful spring renewal by just knowing you made the choice that it is not your problem to handle anymore. You don't have to be around that. You are listening to Psychic Everyday Radio, everybody, and I am taking calls tonight. And you still have another 15 minutes to call me for a reading about your spring renewal. And my number is 1-800-893-9562. And uh, I would be happy to give you a little reading about what you're growing and what's changing for you and how you're shifting this spring. We are having the last day of winter. We are celebrating the last day of winter 2014. 
And we are releasing the last day of winter 2014. And we are thanking the winter of 2014 because that's the other part of this too. It's not just that, oh, thank thank goodness winter is over. Oh, that was rough. You know, I mean, I, I have no right to say that out here in Los Angeles. I really don't. But I'm talking about it as energy. And it wasn't intense, but we need those times. And the spring is really about opening up and growing and changing, like letting that growth out, that new growth be seen and allowing it to flourish and to come out. So that is what you're working on, you know, with, with spring here. No matter what hemisphere of the planet you live in, this is still, there is still a big transition that is really very much like a spiritual spring right now. And there's, there's a lot more growth to come. We have a lot of things to get through this spring, um, but we can do it. And so starting with you yourself, you get to decide for yourself, what, would, what, would, what is it that your spring renewal looks like to you, honestly? Well, we get to uh, see that with our next caller. Hello, you're live. Hi, Chris. Leanne. Hi, Leanne. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thanks so much for listening and for calling. Happy it's last day of winter to you. I know it has been a while. Definitely. Well, would you like, a, do you have any comment or would you like a reading on your spring renewal? I would love a reading. Wonderful. Let me just take a look at um, the, the vibration I see for for spring renewal for you, just this present time vibration is this really kind of bright yellow orange. It's more of an orange, um, like it's a really warm color. It's like almost a hot orange, but it's not quite, it's not fluorescent. It's just brilliant. Um, And what I see with the, the picture of your spring renewal, there's a picture of you and you look like you're in a gym working out and I, you know, I, I don't even know if you ever do this. I know what you do do, but the picture I see is you're wearing boxing gloves and you're boxing a, a bag. You're hitting a bag, but you're doing it in a very rhythmic way. There's something, it's not about punching. There's something about working with the bag. Like it's your hands, the gloves, the bag, and there's this rhythm back and forth. Like it looks like what you're doing is, um, there's something about the bag representing something to you about it's not a, an adversary or something you have to knock over. It looks like it's something about taking the energy that's the challenge and working with it. So it's kind of like um, Tai Chi instead of Taekwondo. It's like working with the energy or flowing with the energy. And it looks like there's something, it's not resist. Okay, yeah, because when you're punching a punching bag, there's a lot of resistance. It's like punching against and the, the resistance. This is non-resistance. And it looks like in okay. your spring growth, there is something you're working on that has to do with your spring renewal that, that is a lot about non-resistance. Uh, you're, okay. you're doing some of also some of what I was um, talking about earlier with the letting go of control. And there's a letting go yeah. of control picture and a non-resistance. So not resisting something that in the past would just throw you into a tizzy and have you try to control it because it was not happy for you. And you're at this place saying, no, I'm going to work with it. Okay, so good. it's this renewal of, it, it's a, it puts you in a place of more, a uh, position of more power, not over others, but within yourself. So you're not controlled by the energy. Yeah, that makes total sense. Good. I'm glad. Well, that looks like a great place to be working and it looks like you have the energy to do it now. Yes. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Have fun. Have a good spring. Thank you. All right. All right. Thanks. Happy spring. Bye, Chris. Bye-bye. Hey there, everybody. I'm uh, talking about your spring renewal. Now, what if, here's another, here's another suggestion for you, just about spring renewal. Not even what you should do, just sort of a putting a bug in your ear. What is it? I know I started talking about this. Like, what have you been wanting to add to your repertoire or increase or improve or you know, besides intuition, what other parts of yourself have you been wanting to bring out and to access or things that you want to create? So what if you get to learn some new helpful things this spring? You know, new, new things for yourself, things that you really enjoy. 
things that help you or make you feel well and happy. What if you get to, if as part of your spring renewal, and they don't have to be, like you don't have to go learn how to code, you know, if you don't want to, or you don't have to go learn how to um, cook a gourmet meal. You can do those things if you want to. They're wonderful things to learn. But what if this, you know, speaking from a spiritual perspective, that what you're learning for yourself this spring has more to do with you? Because, of course, that's where I go, because that's what I do here. It, it, what if you decided this spring that part of your renewal is that you get to really know who you are? You get to really work with what's going on inside of you. It can be really easy when we're in the middle of a lot of frustration and things aren't going a certain way. And this is happening with many people now or, or it's taking a long time or you can't make something move or you just have to wait and you know you do. And it can be very frustrating um, that you don't have control over that. You know, again, that word, control. So there's been a lot of throwing the energy out there trying to make it work faster or make it happen or what do I have to become in order to do that? That's not a bad question, but what if what you may find helpful to become is really more of yourself? You know, we often think if in order to get that goal that I really want, I have to go learn how to become the thing that will get that goal. Now, you know, if you're, if you're looking at getting information or learning, like, for example, in order to become the psychic I am, I had to go get the information and then do the work and do all of it. But it really was more about becoming myself. That was the key. And for you, in order to become X, Y, and Z, what it is that you want Yes, that, you know, you want to go to the, take the classes or go do the work or go, you know, whatever it is, but it's still about becoming you because it's coming from you, that desire, that wish, what you want to become. And so rather than you becoming something else, what about you becoming you and realizing that actually that's part of it, your spring renewal, you becoming more of you. And that's very, very healing for you to become more of who you are. So that's basically the point. What if for your spring renewal this year, you could become more of who you would like to be that is you, you know, yourself. And that's why I also brought up the whole, um, you know, where a lot of people are working now with the self-love, with really what if you decided this spring, it's really a lot about, kind of detoxing or releasing or letting go of self-negativity or invalidation or energy that where I just don't feel like I'm up to it or I don't have what it takes. What if I just decide no matter what, what I have is this self-knowledge and a self-love and I can become who I want to be, me. And that that's actually perfect. And the key here is that it's, it doesn't have to be perfect according to somebody else. It's more about you becoming you because no one's ever done that before. Wait, I'm going to repeat that. No one's ever done that before. The only person who can do it is you. Other people can copy you or emulate you or, or you know, imitate or take some of your ideas and try to run with them. And if you've ever gotten, you know, any of you creators out there, if you've ever gotten very offended because somebody did copy you or is doing something like you, you can let it go because it's funny when someone does that, they actually can't continue to do that because they're not running on your energy. They're running on, you know, or they don't have your energy. They're running it when they create your thing. But you just keep creating your thing and, and let go of needing to somehow control what other people decide to do with that. And then that's that self-love. I have my last caller of the evening on the line, and I will give my last reading tonight. Hi, you're live. Hi, Chris. Hi, who's this? This is Kamer. Oh, hey, Kamer. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Happy winter to you. End of winter, I should say. And happy spring. <laughs> happy spring. Yes. Well, would you like a spring renewal reading? Yes, I would. All right, good. Um... As I start to look at just at the picture that comes right off the top of uh, spring renewal for you, I see this picture. It, it's, it may sound like a funny picture, but the, the color is kind of like this really um, earthy kind of, 
it, it's a really beautiful earthy brown. It's a very, it's like an earthy grounded brown. But the picture is that part of what you're renewing for yourself, and this may sound violent, but it's not. It's a, it's a picture of destruction and creation. But the picture is you're the tree and you're also the woodcutter and you have the axe. Huh. And so you're standing there first as the tree, and the tree is very, the tree can't, the tree doesn't move. I mean, the tree is connected to the earth, and it's, you know, connected to the sky, and it's got all this, but but the tree, but you're not a tree, you're a person. And in the picture, what I'm seeing you do is you're taking your own, the axe, and just, and chopping down the picture of the tree. So it's not you literally, obviously, being the tree, but there's this picture of um, feeling wooden or held back or stuck in one place somehow okay, and yeah. i see you chopping that the tree picture down and then all of a sudden you're flexible like there's this flex it's it's a control you're you're clearing out a control about being stuck behind some old energy and it looks like it may have to do with family stuff it could but it looks like it's something you internalized or you took on and you're at this place for your spring renewal that that a lot of it just has to do with realizing how much more fluid and flexible you are when you're not in the tree picture. You know, and the tree picture isn't yours. It's not that you said, oh, I'm going to be stuck in this tree. And that wasn't it. Yeah. It was something that you took on unconsciously. So your renewal looks like remembering your fluidity and flexibility and giving yourself permission for that. That's what it oh, looks like. Okay. Nice. Good. Thank you so much, Chris. You're welcome, Kamer. Thank you for calling tonight and for listening. Okay. Not have, a problem. Have a good Bye. night. Bye. You too. Hello, everybody. I am, I got about three more minutes here, and I just got to say, this has been really fun tonight to talk to you about spring renewal, and I thank everybody who's been listening and who called. I've been, I just really have a lot of wonderful people who um, show up and tell me how much they like this show, and I appreciate that, and I like all of you for, you know, for paying attention and for, for listening, and I would love to get your um, feedback, to or your suggestions. Now, a couple ways you can communicate with me. One is through my website or my blog. My website is chriscahill.com. My blog is psychiceveryday.com, and I have a free newsletter, and it's listed on, you can sign up on the front page of both of those sites, and I send out a weekly news, and I, um, you know, communicate with my people that way, but you can also, there's communication um, places on my blog, too, where you can just co contact me or communicate. So I'm always creating new shows, I'm always adding new information about whatever I'm working on that particular week, always having to do with spirit and healing and being psychic and abilities and energy and all of that. Um, also, another thing, those of you who sign up for my newsletter, I only send you one newsletter a week and people who sign up get free gifts. So I, I now give away free meditations to my subscribers only. Anybody who signs up, that's what you're going to get. You'll get a link every week to a download you can, you can use, you know, that, that's for that month or a meditation download and other things coming up. So that's what's happening with that. Um, I will be back next week and that would be the last Wednesday of March. Let's see, next week is the 26th and I'll be doing one more show in March about, oh, I don't know, new energies and renewal and all of that. So I'm, I'm still coming up with the final picture on that one, but it will we'll have to do with more spring growth and um, more changes. So you can find me here at 7 o'clock Pacific time at Skid Row Studios. This is Psychic Every Day, and I am Chris Cahill. A um, couple more things. I want to thank a few people for, um, you know, just everything that's been, all the, all the support I've been getting. So all of the people who've been making donations or calling or leaving me, leaving me wonderful reviews, I appreciate you for it. And people who've been um, just like writing me notes. I like that. You know, I, I, write, I always write back to you too. I also want to thank my wonderful show um, board ops here, Jenny and Andy, and Skid Row Studios, and also Amadeus for the wonderful music that you hear at the beginning and the end of this show. Um, again, just a reminder, listen to the Master's Playground this Friday, the 21st of March at 6 p.m. here at skidrowstudios.com for a wonderful, lively, live discussion about spirit and wonderful music. Um, Chrissy Stereo, just a little precursor here. She asked me what music defines me in my life or has defined me, and that's going to be some of what she plays. So I'm really excited about that. 
And I really look forward to uh, communicating with all of you next week. So happy spring to you. Have a wonderful spring renewal. Enjoy your growth. And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye.